All right, let's learn how to set up the golden template comparison step in NI Vision Assistant. Let me show you what I've got so far in the script. I take my original image, extract the luminance plane to convert to grayscale. I'm using geometric matching to find the reference feature. And that reference feature is the pure quality phrase with a little mountain peak in the middle. And then I set the local coordinate system right to the top of that peak. It's located right there. Now this particular image that I'm looking at is what I will consider as my perfect version of the label. This is what I want to set up as the basis for my golden template. And all subsequent labels will be compared back to this template. I'll give this the step name compare to golden template. And then specific portion of the image that I will use for comparison and, and future checking is right here. This is the basis of my golden template now. All right, we have a number of things that we can adjust in terms of setting up the template. You can clear out regions that might not be needed in the comparison. But let me just go ahead and, and accept the defaults right now, and we'll come back and, and play around with these defaults in a little bit. We'll just kind of see how we do running with the defaults. With the comparison against itself, it says no defects found. That makes a lot of sense. Let's try another label that's now been presented at a different angle. So this is still my perfect image, so to speak, but it's just being presented with a different rotation. It's important, to, again, to remember that your local coordinate system has to be defined in that earlier step. So this way the golden template can follow uh, the, the label as it rotates or translates. Here we can adjust the display to show only the defects that are being detected. And at the moment it seems like it's quite a lot of, of defect, even though it's the same exact label. It's just presented at a different rotation angle. Let's take a look at some of the other settings. You can either look for bright defects or dark defects or both. And that simply means kind of like what it sounds like. If the feature is brighter than expected or darker than expected. And we have some different uh, algorithms that are available for looking for these, these defects or differences from the original. Now with this presentation, we are essentially looking at the raw difference between the template image and the current image. Threshold means that we look for differences above or below those numerical values and we get a binary image. All right, here's the key. Here's how we can um, really get a lot of those extraneous features removed, leaving us with something that kind of makes more, more sense. Ignore edges is the critical one. If I go back to my original label where it said no defects found, it looks great. And now as I look at that same exact label, just with different presentations, we find only kind of like dust specks or you know very minor differences that are being detected. However, if I select a label that does intentionally have some defects drawn in, I was using a pencil to basically draw in some extra smudges here. Now we see those pencil defects showing up quite well. And you'll notice they always appear for labels that are presented with different angles or different translations. Again, because we're always tracking our local coordinate system. In this case, we might uh, look for a brighter than average defect. In that case, it was a little tear in the label. Perhaps adjusting the edge thickness a little bit more. Seems like that helps us out. Here's another tear, a little bit more obvious tear showing up here at the bottom. And we certainly see some evidence of a detected problem, but again, since our edge thickness is now set relatively high, we don't see that as a big blob. We're just seeing, again, some of the edge features that have been found.